We had a meeting down in Mexico, and Paul burst out, well, we're not in the Holocene anymore, we're in the Anthropocene. There's probably never been anything like this, quite like this, in the history of the universe. A novel geologic force, a novel planetary force. Humans are changing our Earth in a way that has never been recorded any time in the past. The effect of humankind is as great as some of the great forces of nature. Humankind acting as the most important geological agent, that's the Anthropocene. The Anthropocene is like a common narrative. You laugh at times, you cry at others. If I came at this from afar and sort of regarded this moment as a fable, I would have a smile on my face. All right, let's fast forward to 2050, and let's say we go through the Great Collapse. I would certainly view it as a tragedy. The home of mankind might be one of the first places to be wiped out during the Anthropocene epoch. We're intelligent, we're manipulative, so it'll be hard to shake us off like uh, cockroaches and rats and so forth, the urban foxes and such like. We get by very well. We've woken up behind the wheel of a car that's moving down the highway, and now it's our turn to drive. We have to really change the way we live. That decision needs to happen this decade. For me, the question is, what's a good engineered planet? What's a good Anthropocene? That's the big question. That's up to us. The choices we make today will be preserved in rock in the layer of the Anthropocene. Look at that picture over there.